to the supply chain issues across the country with Thanksgiving less than 24 hours away. We are joined now by Kroger CEO Rodney McMullen with us from a store in Newport, Kentucky, breaking down where things are and whether relief is in sight with all of these uh, backlogs and slowdowns. Rodney, good morning. It's good to have you. So Thanksgiving just a day away here. What products are you seeing people buy this week and are there any last minute shortages on items that people need to be aware of? Yeah, if you look at the things people are buying, it's the traditional things, turkeys, fresh turkeys, ham, uh, cranberries, all the uh, celebrations to go along with it. The one thing that's kind of unique uh, is people are buying things for their pets. And if you look at turkey flavored uh, pet products are also uh, growing really fast. So we've seen reports of shortages. We're, st oh, go we're ahead. still Sorry. in great shape. From, we're still in great shape on products. We have plenty of turkeys, plenty of hams, and uh, people may have to substitute if you want fresh cranberries to uh, cranberries in a can, things like that, but uh, plenty of substitutions available. So you said that you're in great shape, but we have seen these reports across the country that shoppers uh, might not be able to find things like pies or the exact size bird that they're looking for. We're also learning that some chains e even limiting purchases on, as you noted, their cranberry sauce and jars of gravy. Are you seeing any of that in your stores, though? Yeah, we, we are just asking people to buy what they need. So, so far, we have not put any limits in place. Our, our supply chain team really did a fabulous job of getting extra facilities, extra product in advance. Uh, so it's really paying off right now for our customers. So what can customers do today if they can't find a product they're looking for? Well, we feel very confident that you'll be able to find something. Uh, so you may end up having to get a different size turkey. Obviously, if you're just now waiting to get a turkey, you'll probably want to get a fresh turkey as opposed to frozen because it'll take a little while for it to thaw out. But uh, there's still plenty of substitution available uh, as well. So you may need asparagus versus Brussels sprouts, some of those things, but uh, plenty of opportunities. So you might need a little bit of flexibility there. So, so what are your stores actually doing to deal with some of the supply shortages, some of these price hikes, to try to keep prices where people are comfortable with them? Yeah, we've really been working with our suppliers to try to push off uh, cost increases as long as we can. If you look at turkeys, uh, we actually uh, bought turkeys earlier in the spring before some of the cost increases went through. So we're able to pass some of those benefits on to the customer along with standard promotions and stuff. But we're really working uh, with all our suppliers to really try to minimize the effect on customers. Uh, and also we have our own brand products where customers are able to substitute and save a little bit of money and it's the same great quality. So for some tips for people to do some smart shopping out there, are there do's and don'ts that you would recommend as they head into the stores? Well, stick to your list. Uh, you know, always, uh, I think that's a, a great thing to do. Uh, when you look at uh, organic fresh products are uh, still really strong and people are able to uh, eat healthy. Uh, and you know, when you look at, when you think about a Thanksgiving meal for 10 people, you can easily get it for less than uh, $50. So it's less than $5 a person. So it's an incredibly high quality meal uh, and you're with family and friends. So it's just a great celebration event too. All right, and stick to the list. That's key. Once you start going off, you can start having issues. Rodney, thank you so much. We appreciate your time this morning. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.